on her way to Miss America in Atlantic City this September, your new Miss Massachusetts is Lauren Kuhn, Miss Collegiate Area. The moment I realized I was Miss Massachusetts, I was crying and I briefly had these thoughts flickering through my mind of, um, I imagine that my mascara is running all down my face and I hope I don't look terrible in the photos. And then I just felt this extreme gratitude because I never ever thought that I would have the chance to compete for Miss America, which is 94 years old this year. And also Miss America gives out so much scholarship money and I realized that right at that moment when my name had been called, a huge financial burden had been lifted off of me. And I appreciated that and I really vowed at that moment and even before that moment I knew that if I was going to be Miss Massachusetts, I wanted to give back to my community and I wanted to give other young women the opportunities that I have had. People often ask me why I decided to get involved with beauty pageants and first of all I really don't consider the Miss America organization to be a beauty pageant at all and so I always try to not use that term. I really think it's more of a scholarship program and I feel like what it's done and part of the reason it drew me to the organization is it's really empowered me to be involved even more in my community than I normally would be. And I'm passionate about helping others and meeting people from all walks of life and doing something that is a little bit greater than myself and trying to leave a legacy. But I feel like this program has pushed me even more. Plus the Miss America organization gives out over $45 million in scholarships every year. And I've earned over $35,000 in scholarships so far. Being Miss Massachusetts is such a unique experience and it's something that I never thought would happen to me. So you can imagine when I was crowned, I was really surprised and really excited. And I knew this was an opportunity to make a difference in people's lives. So some of the moments that especially resonate with me are when children ask me how my crown stays on or if it's made out of real diamonds or even when they wish me happy birthday because they think it's my birthday because I'm wearing a crown. I also think that it's amazing that I can go up to a young child and say, what do you want to be when you grow up and where do you want to go to school? And when I tell them where I go to school and what I'm doing, I feel like they believe in themselves that they can do whatever it is that they want to do and go to school wherever. And I think that by showing young people that options are really limitless, I think that that's what's really powerful about this job. My platform during my year as Miss Massachusetts is empowering women through education. And I think it's important to understand my background, to understand how exactly it is that I chose my platform. So the area where I'm from doesn't have any universities in the entire county and there are also no private high schools. So I attended a public school and it had three times the national average dropout rate. A lot of my friends dropped out, a lot of them became single mothers very early on. I even knew people who dropped out of school when they were in elementary school. Having those types of experiences, I realized that everyone, regardless of their situation, needs encouragement in their life. And no matter what situation you find yourself in, it's still possible to follow your passions and follow your dreams. So what I've decided to do with my platform is to help encourage other young women and I've lobbied on Capitol Hill for student loan debt reduction. I also established a scholarship for a young woman who will be attending college in Massachusetts very very soon. She's starting the fall of 2014 and I'm also hoping to speak in schools to encourage young women that no matter what life throws their way to follow what they're passionate about and that could mean going to a vocational school, it could mean an apprenticeship, or it could mean a four-year college or a professional school like what I'm in. Education is different for everyone, but I think everyone deserves encouragement. I wanted to be a dentist because I really like teeth. <laughs> and, um, you know, I had braces when I was younger, and I noticed such a huge difference in my self-esteem after I had braces, and I felt good about the way I looked. And I always thought that even if I'm having a crazy hair day and um, it's completely wild, or if I have a blemish on my face, really no matter what goes wrong, I can always count on my smile being something that I'm confident about. And so I wanted to be a dentist to help relieve that anxiety about how someone's smile looks and be able to help my patients.